Welcome to Redbeard and the Den of Tools. Howdy ho guys and gals, it's Red, your friendly neighborhood tool bear, back again here in the Den of Tools. And today we are talking about a tool that, oh, we've been waiting for this thing for months. But it's finally here. Yep, we're talking about the Bauer Heavy Duty Guaranteed 4 volt lithium ion screwdriver with flashlight. All right. This is a, we got what pictures leaked to this months ago, months ago, and it showed up in the monthly flyer catalog. I think it was in February and did not show up in stores, but you know, we got to give uh, Harbor Freight a bit of a break. They've been rolling out so much new stuff, so much stuff that, you know, that some things are going to slip through the cracks and get pushed back. So I guess it's better. We get the big cool stuff out first and the, the little things take a little bit longer. That said, you know, it's finally here. It's real. Now, let's let's talk about what this is real quick. It's a 4-volt screwdriver, okay? I know it's got the Bauer name on it, but it's not going to take the kind of Bauer batteries. It's got a lithium battery, but it's built in. So you got your standard little AC plug-in charger that comes with it. And you can take standard, you know, kind of hex bits for it that go in there. It's magnetic, so it holds them in place. You're not going to need an extra bit driver. You might want to consider using one to extend it a little bit if you're trying to get it into some place that needs a little bit more reach to it. Uh, I, I found, honestly, this thing to be quite comfortable. And the thing about it is it's convertible. It converts between a, a straight grip and a pistol grip, which is really nice. The trigger is easy to use, and uh, everything about it is just dead simple. Uh, when now, as I said, this thing's real. It's not imaginary anymore. In fact, <laughs> we, we got it here in the shop. So let's jump into it and I'll show you how we use this thing. Well, there you go. There you have it. What did you guys and gals think? You know, it's a, it, it's a great handy little tool. I always think of this. In fact, when I first saw it, when I saw that it had the flashlight, the, the first idea that popped into my head <laughs> was that this is the perfect kitchen junk drawer kind of tool. You know, like every other family, we've got a drawer full of, you know, crud from the kitchen, miscellaneous tools and, you know, other stuff, pencils and pens and cellophane tape and all that stuff and and it's perfect for that because for those little jobs around the house where you just want to grab a screwdriver and get the job done you don't want to go out in the shop and find your 18 volt or even your 12 volt and you just want to get it done or something you know the misses or the kids can use without having to dig through your tools as well and the fact that it has a flashlight on it means also that when the power goes out you've got a handy little flashlight right there or like a, you know you saw in the video trying to look under the sink or in a back cabinet or something yeah, the cubs are constantly coming to me going, Daddy, Daddy, I need a flashlight for this. I need a flashlight for that. There you go. It's just right there in the drawer. Everyone knows where it is. Now, I won't say that it's perfect. I was a little disappointed in a few things. 
first of all, when I first saw this, I was could have sworn the spec said that it had a torque setting on it. It doesn't have a torque setting, and that would have been nice. As you can see, though, you know I've used enough of these tools in the day that I, I know that I basically I become the torque setting. You know, I, I loosen my grip so that when it starts to kick back on it, the tool turns in my hand rather than having it strip the screw or whatnot. That's just you know an easy way of doing that sort of thing. It, yeah, the torque setting would be nice, but when you're talking about a fifteen dollar kind of price point, you know that it's hard to argue with, uh, you know, with it not having every feature you would like. Like, I would have loved to have a, a USB uh, plug rather than the standard AC plug. But, you know, you know, maybe in the Gen 2 model on it. Uh, another thing I would have liked to see is an analog versus a digital trigger. What that means is an analog trigger has a variable speed control to it. This thing, it's a digital trigger. It's either on or it's off. There's no, like, quarter speed, half speed kind of thing. Which, again, would have helped with it not having torque settings on it. Uh, let's see here. What else? The LED is not great. All right. This is not the kind of thing you're going to take camping or something like this. This is definitely the I need to find the breaker box kind of, uh, you know, flashlight. Or the I need to look for something in a dark cabinet kind of thing. It, it's not a high-end LED light. Uh, you know, it, it, it is what it is. It's a simple, inexpensive, quick to use, easy to grab you know, utility screwdriver. That's all it is. One thing I would have liked to see, I would have liked to see some onboard storage for the bits. Uh, the fact that it comes with four bits and there's no way to snap them to the, the tool, that means they're just going to wander off. That said, you're probably going to want to pick up something like this anyway. This is the little Bauer uh, bit driver set. And with this, yeah, you're not going to be using it with the sockets. Probably, I don't know, maybe some smaller sockets you could probably make you know some quarter inch kind of stuff i don't know but uh the uh the you know you've got a, a nut driver there and you've got all the little bits and specialty bits and torque settings i could see you know using these around the house for quite a few things so that would be nice to have and it's got a nice little storage box i've got the uh the hercules version of this now they're impact related so that that's kind of overkill for for this sort of thing i remember what i said about the price point uh, being about a 15 16 dollar price point it's currently listed at $20. Now, when it came out in the February catalog, there was this coupon that got it down to $15.99. Unfortunately, this coupon expired $228. Who's in charge of coupons over there? You got a coupon for a product that's not out yet that expires before the product launches. How does that make sense? Hopefully, Harbor Freight will hear this and fix that, and we'll get a current coupon on it. <laughs> All right, I'm just pulling their tail. I, I know they, they've been trying to roll stuff out, and I'm just teasing them. But it's still funny, and you got to laugh at it. Anyway... That's all the bear has for you today. Let me know if this is something you think you can make use of or if there's any other features you'd like to see added to it. And, uh, hey, don't forget to uh, check out our live stream tonight. Remember, we got Saturday Night Tool Talk with uh, with Jeff and the Misses and the Cubs and everyone else. Uh, the Labrador usually makes an appearance. So that starts at 6 p.m. Pacific. Specific, as the Cubs used to say. Pacific time tonight. Hope to see you there. Take care, everyone. And as always, shine on.